six police officers were arrested and charged for the death of Freddie Gray. Can you imagine that? When I think of that, it's mind-blowing. We are now at a point in America where a police officer, especially a white police officer, should arrest or have to kill a black criminal. And you're going to give you that information in a minute. Uh, then the police officer can lose his job, his reputation. He can go to jail for dealing with a criminal, a black one. Because if it's a white criminal, no problem. In America today, did you ever, ever imagine this? I never imagined a whole lot of things I never imagined would be happening in my country, such as we would have a racist Christian-hating, redistribution of wealth. Really, Jim Crow is running the government. (laughs) Black Jim Crow is running the government. Hashtag Obama is Jim Crow. In America, I just just never imagined these things would be happening. And I never imagined that black Americans, Americans could sink so low in character that they would defend criminals and go after the innocents, the good. Who would have thought this with no shame? Some people think that if uh, this one black cop who is on trial, if he is acquitted, that there will be a riot in Baltimore, Maryland again. I, I agree with that. I believe so. I believe that if this black officer is acquitted, uh, he was driving the van at the time, and he's been accused of not getting help for Freddie Gray. Apparently, Freddie Gray's spinal spine was broken. His back was broken or something. The officers did not know it. For for one thing, they didn't. They say they didn't know the guy's back was broken. But anyway, they accused him, and he went to jail, and uh, he's on trial. His trial is coming to an end, and people believe that if he is acquitted, that he will, there will be a, a riot. Yes, it will, because you have the lawless living there in Baltimore, the blacks who are, the, you know, Black Lives Matter, the gang members there, the uh, people like... Uh, the new Black Panther Party and others, yes, there will be a riot. There will be because these people are out of control anyway. Like last time, the mayor and the city council, councilmen will give these rioters places or space to riot and destroy. So they didn't learn anything from the first time. They were not punished for destroying property and all that. So, yes, they will do it again. And another thing I've noticed in my country today, when there are blacks involved in these cases, mob justice has become, has become the norm in America. I never, I remember watching TV and I would see that over Europe or somewhere else. And I just never imagined that that would happen in this country. My country is changing and has changed And I wonder, will we ever be able to turn it back? Who and how will we do that? Who will do it and how will we strengthen America again? And by the way, I write about Freddie Gray in my book, The Antidote, my new book, The Antidote, Healing America from the Poison of Hate, Blame, and Victimhood. Victimhood. And just a few items here. Uh, Freddie Gray grew up without his father. Typical in the black community, the worst thing that can happen to children, never mind the color, male or female, is to grow up without their fathers. Or even if the fathers are in the home, to grow up without being close to their fathers and watching their fathers as they were growing up. His mother was a heron, heron addict. Can you imagine being raised by a mother like that and then no father? His mother couldn't read. 
uh, and she had other disabilities. You know, a lot of people say, well, who is responsible for Freddie Gray's uh, childhood? Who is responsible for his life slash death, life and death? His parents, his father and mother are responsible for him until he grow to become an adult, a young adult. Once he become an adult, he is responsible. Uh, even though his parents screwed him up while growing up, as an adult, God has made it possible for us to overcome the traumas of our parents. And it almost takes a lifetime to overcome it, but as an adult, you can overcome it. I've had to overcome it, and I know men and women across the country who I work, whom I worked with over the last 25 years who has overcome their parents. So Freddie Gray was responsible for his life as an adult and his death because had he not become a criminal, a drug dealer, and a drug user, he would not be dead today, I don't believe. So he's responsible as an adult.